A hospital patient once said of Florence Nightingale, what a comfort it is to see her pass. She would speak to one and nod and smile to many more. Florence Nightingale is an excellent symbol for the Guardian. And so are Queen Victoria, President Harry Truman, and Dr. Linda Ferry. Dr. Ferry teaches family medicine at Loma Linda University Medical Center. Okay, I want you to open your mouth real big. Teaching medicine uh, to medical students and residents has really helped me to see that not only did I learn a lot, but I can contribute back to the field of medicine. Um, coming to a medical school, as a medical student, you don't feel like a doctor for a long time. In fact, the first time someone says, hi, Dr. Ferry, you go, oh dear, did they just talk to me? I don't think I'm really a doctor. Um, but it really takes a long time to really feel like, yeah, I, I really am. I know enough to be a doctor. I, I really do belong to this field where I can say, yes, I know what's wrong with you. I can diagnose that. Um, and you can trust what I'm going to tell you. Guardians are also conservators, and this is most evident in the work they choose to do. Teaching, preaching, accounting, nursing, banking. All these are occupations that involve serving others and belonging to established, recognized institutions. I really cherish in my life is my relationships with my family, and I'm really proud of the heritage of my family. Um, my family were immigrants, they came to this country with basically nothing, achieved their own education, worked their way through, and they passed that on through my family. I'm just a third generation American, and I feel really proud to have been part of, uh, of that American dream. I'm just going to listen to your heart, okay? I honestly never went through a rebellious stage in my teenage years, and um, authority is something that to me is easy because it makes sense and you follow the rules and everything works fine. I was a monitor in college, you know, I was always on the authority side. So uh, I feel kind of like I'm still a part of it as a program director in preventive medicine and family practice. I'm still an authority. I guess I've always been one.